Wonderful. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the early ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. and most seamless battles in America. Scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Unlikely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the Northeast. No doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Listen, with luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. I've asked the 
surprised, but they all plead ignorance. Look at that! They're lying! Aye. What can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll knock down the problem. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib, then. Do so without cause. We'll set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. So what's this fellow doing? See, Charles, we'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. Careful. Where? The place is well guarded. We need to pass the
I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gutch. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe... I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No! Hold a moment! Perhaps I was... Hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, stylist. I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> In a minute, I got to decide where to start. You're a ruffian. Commoner's dirt, Cutter. And proud of it. Just a quick little swipe and no more is. How's that sound, Mr. Church? Who... Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I, I don't understand. Well, why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him.
state your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, yes, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Planning to announce yourself, or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir. It's it's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they've said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward. Listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Scoundrels, one and all! 
spy on you and your false war! <laughs> After him! Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying broke... I assume you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. <laughs> 